are YouTube and welcome to the first episode of a series of Adobe Photoshop tutorials. In this we'll be doing something very basic but it looks quite awesome. Uh, yeah we'll be making this. So we're going to go and create a new and make sure it's 1 to 80 by 720. Uh, we're just going to fill the background with a black and then we're going to make a new layer um, then we're going to get our text tool and we're just going to type some text up so I'm just going to find a, a font uh, there we are, this is quite good and I'm just going to type awesome Make sure it's a white. And we're just going to uh, make our text a little bit bigger. So I'd say about 1 to 5. And then we're going to select Control. So we're going to deselect this thing. We go Control A. That selects everything. And then you're going to use these things up here to align this text into the middle. So we're just going to do this one, which aligns it to the horizontal. I mean, uh, yeah, horizontal and then the vertical and that will put everything in the middle press ctrl D and that will deselect everything you can right click here now and click rasterize type and that means we can't edit it, any edit it anymore but we don't need to create a new layer and we're going to go to filter sorry now we're going to fill it with black first then we're going to go to filter then we're going to go to render and fiber but it doesn't really matter all this stuff is up to you but make sure you don't do it really high like this because that's just not good you want it quite low like that click ok and we're going to do what we're going to do now is going to right click it we're going to create clipping mask and that makes like it stay inside the text which is quite cool uh, we're going to make another new layer and we're going to select our paintbrush and we're going to turn down the flow to about one since that's just going to make the effect um you can the size is up to you but i'm just going to be using about um just around about a hundred and we're going to be doing like a rainbow so select a red and then just start painting like this It may take some time because the flow is very low, but this just adds to the effect. So that'll be our red. And now we want an orange. That'll be a good orange. You want a smaller amount of orange because there isn't much orange in a rainbow. So just paint around the orange. And then we want a yellow. And just start painting the yellow. You need if the problem with the yellow. You have to do the yellow quite a lot, otherwise it will clear kind of like a a lime green. Okay, I'll do it now. Then we want a, a green. I'm just going to speed up the video a little bit, just so I don't waste your time. And there we go. Now we're going to set our color mode to color. And that's that. And that creates that rainbow effect. Now, um, in case it appears like uh, the rainbow is kind of overlapping the awesome text, 
there's a way of sorting that out you just right click and create clipping mask and that means it will only apply to this layer here uh, we're going to go down to our awesome I'm going to go to filter and we're going to go to blur and we're going to go to radio blur uh, maybe about 10 that was too much so we're going to go to filter again blur radial blur 5 about 5 as you can see it's it's done the effect of the uh, you know the fluffiness if you know what I mean you might want to delete this layer if it appears white like this you just right click and release the clipping mask if you already have one on and then it uh, it will be normal uh, make sure you select your awesome layer and then you go down to effects and you're going to go up to your blending options uh, we might add an outer glow and for this we're going to give my I quite like I have this nice blue which is 254 blue and 105 green uh, you can play around with this but uh, that's quite a good one at the end change the size out a little bit maybe you can mess around with spread that's quite nice and you could try the gradient overlay the gradient overlay gets rid of all the excess sort of horribleness if that's the word and that gives it kind of like the smooth effect you can change the settings but make sure it's kind of like this sort like a linear because that gives it the uh, sort of fade out effect click ok and that's about it really so yeah, you've made that but there you go that's as simple as that Thanks for watching this Photoshop tutorial and I'll be giving you some more soon. Thank you very much.